welcome back to uh, Southern Minnesota. I'm Dennis Appel, and we've got a uh, deer hunt for you today. Got out here a couple days ago. I've been mostly just driving around scouting, you know, looking, you know, figuring things out. And uh, yeah, we've got you know, doe groups, big doe groups uh, still uh, congregating together. But uh, we've also got a little bit of seeking, a little bit of casing going on too. So it's uh, really starting to amp up here. We have had a little bit of uh, activity already this morning. I did have a small buck uh, pass underneath the, the stand here. Uh, I actually would have taken the shot, but the camera was well out of position. So uh, I decided to pass up on him. But, uh, you know, he looked right through me and, uh, you know, wasn't spooked at all. And he, so he's going up to the top hill. He's going to feed and then uh, maybe he'll come back through and we'll get a second pass at him. Or I had a little excitement. I had a doe just blow right through here. I thought it was being chased, and it was being chased by a dog. So now the dog is hanging out here, right over here. Go home. Hey, go home. So my morning hunt might be ruined before it even started. Well, it's getting a little bit late in the morning. I just had a buck bust me uh, from behind me here. I was watching the trail down this way and I turned around. He had snuck in behind me. Uh, he was already at 40 yards and he saw me turn and he blew right out of here. So I think we're gonna call it for this morning. Uh, you know, my buddy Sam, he got a doe right up the way this morning. So I'm gonna go help him pull that out and we'll get ready for our uh, evening hunt. But you know, it, uh, it started off the day here. It was about 30 degrees out when uh, I came to stand and we're looking at a high of 60. And so I'm, uh, I'm layered up in Huntworth clothing today. I've got my base layer on, I've got uh, this nice sweatshirt, and then uh, I've got the, uh, the vest with the, uh, the heat boost technology. And uh, this right here is my favorite piece of uh, clothing that Huntworth makes. It's, uh, it's got the, you know, the pass through in the back for my safety tether, you know, covers up you know, my safety harness completely. And I'll wear this thing from starting from about mid, uh, mid fall all the way to the end of season in January. It's a great versatile piece of clothing that you can uh, use as part of your layering system when you're planning out your day's hunt. So if you're looking to add a little bit more uh, camo in uh, your collection, definitely look for one of these vests from Huntworth. And uh, you know, all their stuff is really affordable. It's not gonna break the bank. You can pick it up a couple pieces at a time. Uh, you can find it in all your big box stores or look them up at huntworthgear.com. Come on, <laughs> almost there. Get her, get her, hold. <laughs> Jeez, Sam, can you hunt a steeper ravine? I don't know, maybe. <laughs> so, everybody, this is my friend Sam. You know, tell me, you know, you got a nice doe here, man. Tell me uh, what happened. She uh, rounded the corner, came 20, stopped, sent it, and there she went. Nice, yeah, it's a short track job, too. She, she laid right down. Yeah. So, well, it's only another quarter mile to the truck. <laughs> <laughs> so, but I mean, we're gonna get this thing loaded up, and uh, I'm gonna get set for uh, the evening hunt. Uh, we both still have our buck tags. Yeah. Rut starts tomorrow, or the uh, gun season. season starts tomorrow. So uh, we better put them down before all the uh, bucks are gone. Yeah. <laughs> to the west and around the corner. Um, it's probably 50 yards and it just pinged. A couple of those coming up this way, so we gotta get ready. Just plugged the doe right on this side. She just came right out. I didn't have time to turn the camera. It's a story of my life when I'm out here. Uh, so she was right here. Had two littler ones right here. I, you know, they didn't spook off. There, it might come back. We might get another chance at it. I'm gonna sit a little bit. Go see if we can get on a little bit of blood. What do you think we got here? 
That's gotta be a lung shot for sure. It looks like lung tissue. So right from here, right I took here a couple was your more. last blood. Yep. And I found some like right over here or something. So yeah, I, I basically, I got to here and I didn't see anymore, but I know she leaned hard left. And at this point, I lost connection of the uh, microphone to the camera. What can I say? Uh, you know, cell filming is a little hard, but the blood was a little sporadic, but there was blood. We were able to track it. Um, turned out that the, uh, the shot was a little high. And so the blood was pooling in the uh, chest cavity. And uh, we went down the lane here. We'd find a little bit and then nothing and then find it. And then we, uh, we found her laid up underneath this tree right off the trail. Uh, the total track distance was probably about only 75 yards, kind of a struggle to get in here. It was a lot of brush. It was pretty deep cover, even though it was right off the path. Uh, we walked by it three times before we actually uh, found her. But it was a good hunt. i happy to um, take this doe for the season and um, still have my buck tag. So we're going to be out here again, hopefully in the next couple weeks. So hey, I'm Dennis LaPelle. Thanks for watching. Midwest Outdoors will be right back.